five construction projects that Western experts considered extremely challenging. China completed them all ahead of typical timelines and under budget, a high-speed railway through active volcanic terrain, an underwater bridge system across 55 kilometers of open ocean, and a railway network that's cutting global shipping times in half. These achievements are reshaping what's possible in modern construction. Our countdown begins with Indonesia's first high-speed railway, a project that demonstrates China's ability to solve complex geological engineering challenges. When plans were announced to build a 350 km per hour railway through one of the world's most seismically active regions, Western engineering firms noted the unprecedented difficulty of the terrain. The 142km line traverses active volcanic soil, fault lines, and areas prone to earthquakes that would challenge any railway construction project. Traditional high-speed rail requires extremely stable foundations, making this environment particularly demanding for engineering teams. Chinese engineers developed advanced seismic mitigation systems specifically for these conditions. The solutions include flexible foundation designs that accommodate ground movement and sophisticated monitoring systems that track seismic activity in real time. While not literally moving with the earth, these engineering approaches allow the railway to maintain operational safety during minor seismic events. The project timeline challenged typical infrastructure development schedules. Construction began in 2016 and passenger service commenced in 2023, a seven-year timeline that included significant COVID-related delays. Most high-speed rail projects in challenging terrain require 12 to 15 years for completion. The cost efficiency was equally impressive. The entire project cost $7.3 billion for 142 kilometers of high-speed rail through difficult terrain. For comparison, California's high-speed rail project has exceeded $30 billion for the Central Valley segment, which covers similar distance through less challenging geological conditions and isn't expected to be operational until after 2030. The operational results validated the engineering solutions. The railway successfully operates at 350 km per hour, reducing travel time between Jakarta and Bandung from over three hours to 40 minutes. Early reports indicate positive economic development along the corridor, though long-term impacts are still developing as the line has only been operational for a short period. This project established China's credibility for high-speed rail construction in challenging international environments, demonstrating that their domestic engineering capabilities could be successfully applied to different regulatory, geological and climatic conditions. Position four takes us to Pakistan's Arabian Sea coast, where China is implementing one of the most comprehensive port and urban development projects currently underway globally. Gwadar represents a systematic approach to creating integrated economic infrastructure rather than just individual construction projects. The port development is part of the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, a flagship component of the Belt and Road Initiative. The project combines deep water port construction with coordinated urban planning, industrial zones, airport development and transportation infrastructure as an integrated economic system. The engineering challenge involved creating major port facilities capable of handling the world's largest cargo ships in a location that previously had minimal infrastructure. The deep water port construction required advanced techniques for marine engineering in challenging coastal conditions. Chinese construction teams employed modular and prefabricated construction methods that allowed major components to be built under controlled conditions, then positioned with precision in the marine environment. These approaches reduced construction time and improved quality control compared to traditional marine construction methods. The scope extends far beyond port facilities. The integrated development includes a new international airport, industrial processing zones, residential districts designed for significant population growth, and transportation networks connecting the port to Pakistan's interior and onward to China. The timeline demonstrates China's capacity for coordinated large-scale development. While the transformation from fishing village to major port complex has occurred over two decades, starting in the early 2000s, the pace of coordinated infrastructure development exceeds typical international development project timelines. The strategic significance lies in creating alternative trade routes between China and global markets that bypass traditional maritime choke points. When fully operational, Gwadar provides China with direct access to the Arabian Sea and Middle Eastern markets, while giving Pakistan major port facilities to serve regional trade. The project showcases China's approach to international infrastructure development, creating comprehensive economic ecosystems rather than individual projects, 
integrating multiple types of infrastructure simultaneously, and coordinating development across different sectors to create synergistic economic benefits. The third position belongs to a project that represents fundamental advances in large-scale concrete construction technology. The Baihatan Hydroelectric Dam demonstrates China's mastery of engineering challenges that have limited massive concrete construction projects worldwide. The technical specifications are remarkable, 289 meters tall, generating 16 gigawatts of electricity through 16 turbines of 1 gigawatt each, with a reservoir capacity of 20 billion cubic meters. But the true engineering achievement lies in the advanced materials science and construction precision required. The breakthrough that distinguished this project was China's development of ultra-high performance concrete, specifically designed for massive construction applications. Traditional concrete develops thermal cracks when poured in extremely large sections because the heat generated during curing creates internal stresses that exceed material strength limits. Chinese engineers solved this fundamental problem through new concrete formulations with specialized additives that control curing temperatures, combined with sophisticated cooling systems that manage thermal stresses throughout the concrete setting process. The result was successful mass concrete construction without the thermal cracking that typically limits large concrete projects. The construction precision exceeded standard industry tolerances. Each massive section of the dam required millimeter level positioning accuracy, despite the structure's enormous scale. Chinese teams used GPS-guided placement systems, laser measurement technologies, and computer-controlled concrete pouring to achieve manufacturing-level precision in massive construction. The timeline impressed international observers. Main construction occurred from 2017 to 2022, approximately five to six years for a project of unprecedented scale and complexity. The construction coordination involved over 30,000 workers at peak periods, managed through digital systems that tracked every component and quality checkpoint in real time. Most significantly, engineering reports confirm that no thermal cracks have appeared in the dam's concrete structure, validating the effectiveness of China's thermal crack control technology. This represents a fundamental advance in concrete engineering that removes previous limitations on massive concrete construction projects. The project generates enough electricity to significantly reduce China's carbon emissions while demonstrating construction capabilities that enable infrastructure projects previously considered technically unfeasible due to concrete limitations. Our second position showcases what many consider the most technically demanding marine construction project successfully completed in recent decades. The Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge System represents breakthrough achievement in underwater construction precision and coordination. The project specifications challenged conventional marine engineering, a 55-kilometer bridge tunnel system crossing open ocean, including a 6.7-kilometer immersed tunnel constructed from 33 prefabricated sections, each weighing between 80,000 and 880,000 tons, positioned with millimeter precision in busy shipping lanes. The underwater tunnel construction required unprecedented precision in marine environments. Each massive tunnel section had to be precisely positioned while accounting for ocean currents, tidal forces, vessel traffic, and structural requirements. The margin for error was minimal. Positioning inaccuracies could create structural problems or shipping hazards. Chinese engineers achieved this through advanced prefabrication techniques that allowed tunnel sections to be built on land under controlled conditions with perfect precision, then moved into final position using specialized marine equipment designed specifically for this project. This approach eliminated the traditional challenges of underwater construction while achieving precision that exceeded typical marine project capabilities. The artificial island construction required equally sophisticated engineering. Creating stable platforms on ocean floor sediments demanded advanced foundation techniques and precise placement of millions of cubic meters of materials to support bridge towers and tunnel connections. The construction timeline demonstrated exceptional project coordination. The entire system was completed in approximately nine years from 2009 to 2018, requiring simultaneous construction of bridges, tunnels, and artificial islands with precise integration between different construction teams and technical systems. The engineering achievement enabled immediate economic transformation. Travel time between Hong Kong and Zhuhai decreased from three hours to 30 minutes. Cargo transportation costs dropped significantly. The enhanced connectivity accelerated economic integration of the Pearl River Delta region beyond initial projections. The tunnel system was engineered for a 120-year operational life with advanced waterproofing systems, indicating long-term engineering planning that prioritizes life cycle performance 
rather than just initial construction success. This project established new standards for marine construction complexity and demonstrated that major underwater infrastructure projects could be completed with precision and reliability that exceeded previous marine engineering achievements. The top position belongs to the most strategically significant infrastructure development currently reshaping global trade relationships. The expansion and integration of China's railway networks across Eurasia represents construction coordination on a scale that demonstrates institutional capabilities exceeding traditional international development approaches. The foundation was the Qinghai Tibet Railway, completed in 2006, which required solving extreme construction challenges, including high altitude work where oxygen levels are 40% below sea level, temperatures reaching minus 40 degrees Celsius, and extensive permafrost that destroys traditional construction methods. Chinese engineers developed systematic solutions for permafrost construction using thermosiphons, advanced insulation techniques, and flexible track designs that accommodate ground movement without structural failure. These innovations work across thousands of kilometers of extreme terrain, demonstrating engineering approaches that make previously unbuildable environments manageable for infrastructure development. The current achievement extends far beyond the original railway. China is coordinating railway construction across multiple countries as part of the Belt and Road Initiative, creating integrated transportation networks that function as coordinated systems despite spanning different regulatory environments, climates, and technical requirements. The operational results demonstrate the strategic significance. Rail freight between China and Europe now takes 15 to 20 days compared to 35 to 45 days by maritime shipping. Transportation costs decrease by approximately 30% for appropriate cargo types, making overland routes economically competitive with traditional sea routes for the first time in centuries. The organizational achievement rivals the technical accomplishment. Coordinating construction across multiple countries while maintaining integration schedules requires project management capabilities that demonstrate advanced institutional coordination. Each railway segment must be completed in coordination with connecting segments to allow the entire network to function as a unified transportation system. The scale encompasses the Belt and Road Initiative's broader infrastructure development, covering 147 countries with over $1 trillion spent and projections reaching $8 trillion. This represents systematic infrastructure investment on a scale that creates new economic relationships and trade dependencies. The strategic implications are fundamental. China has created alternative trade routes that provide economic options independent of traditional maritime shipping lanes and Western-controlled infrastructure. Countries integrated into these railway networks become connected to Chinese supply chains and economic systems in ways that influence long-term trade relationships. The construction employs advanced technologies, including AI-driven project management, robotic construction systems, digital coordination across multiple sites, and manufacturing precision approaches to infrastructure development that integrate industrial techniques with traditional construction methods. What distinguishes these projects from traditional infrastructure development is China's systematic integration of advanced technologies that Western construction industries are still evaluating for implementation. These aren't experimental applications, they represent standard practice across Chinese megaprojects. AI-driven project management systems coordinate thousands of workers across multiple sites with real-time optimization of resource allocation, scheduling, and quality control. Robotic construction systems work alongside human teams to achieve precision and consistency that exceeds traditional construction capabilities. Digital integration connects every component, worker, and piece of equipment through information systems that enable coordination and optimization impossible with traditional construction management approaches. The result is construction efficiency and precision that exceeds what Western firms achieve using conventional methods. Advanced materials science, including breakthrough concrete formulations, corrosion-resistant materials for extreme environments, and precision manufactured components, enables construction in conditions and at scales that were previously technically unfeasible. The manufacturing integration brings factory-level precision and quality control to infrastructure construction through prefabrication, modular assembly, and computer-controlled construction processes that achieve tolerances typically associated with manufacturing rather than construction. These five projects demonstrate that China has developed construction capabilities that exceed what other countries currently achieve using existing institutional systems, technologies, and organizational approaches. The speed, 
cost-effectiveness and technical performance represent systematic advantages rather than isolated achievements. Countries evaluating infrastructure development partnerships are choosing between fundamentally different approaches to construction timeline, cost management and technical capability. Chinese proposals offer completion schedules and cost structures that Western alternatives cannot match while delivering comparable or superior technical performance. The implications extend beyond impressive construction statistics. China's infrastructure development creates economic relationships and dependencies that influence global trade patterns and political relationships in ways that exceed traditional diplomatic or economic influence. These projects represent systematic creation of alternative global economic infrastructure that provides countries with development options independent of Western-controlled systems and institutions. The Belt and Road Initiative isn't just about building roads and railways. It's about creating economic relationships that will influence global commerce for decades. Analysis of these projects reveals that the infrastructure being built appears designed for capacities that substantially exceed current economic requirements. Railway networks create transportation capacity exceeding current trade volumes by significant margins. Ports accommodate ships larger than most currently in operation. Power generation capabilities exceed regional energy requirements substantially. The construction methods being refined and the institutional capabilities being developed seem optimized for projects that would exceed even these massive undertakings. Everything observed appears to be preparation for infrastructure development that hasn't been announced or identified by Western strategic planning. The fundamental question that emerges from studying these achievements is strategic. If these five projects represent China's current standard construction capabilities, what larger infrastructure developments are they preparing the foundation to support? And how will those future projects influence global economic relationships in ways that current strategic planning hasn't yet anticipated or prepared for? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. If you like this video, make sure to watch the next one shown on screen.